Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with another massive vintage jewelry haul. I was untangling some things and found this that matches the bracelet, the sterling liquidy silver necklace. Glad I found that. This to match those earrings, that beautiful olive green and teal. No name on that, but it doesn't matter, it's beautiful. This scarab watch, Sutton, really cool, but need to take it to see if I can get a battery. See if it works. I mean, it, it's nice to even just wear as a bracelet if you like scarab like I do. But I almost, I don't know just by looking at a watch if it's a wind up or if it's a battery. I'm guessing this is battery. That's my guess really pretty. This, I really did just untangle this. I'm not kidding. This has some wear, but I think it's got all of its stones. It's got red rhinestones and some little pearls. Yeah, does have some wear though. This is, wow, okay. It's very pretty on the back. Don't see anything written, but I'm guessing it's jade or something that looks like jade. Let's see if it's gold filled chain. Nope, and that's kind of still cute though. I like it. And there was this. Winged horse. This is just a random silver chain, which I could use. That's cute. Oh no, I think it would belong to this moonstone and sterling pendant. So I'll put that back on there. That's a pretty moonstone. It's got that blue, very vivid. This is pearl and rhinestone, a nice choker. It has a name, star. I haven't had a star for a while. I like the link on this. broken. Right? It reminds me of the little sil silpata thing, right? It doesn't say anything. Well, what happened to the rest of it? Shoot. Okay. Thanksgiving, Russ, cute, Aww, I like it, this is not in good shape, but it's, it's pretty, this bracelet is worn, This is pretty dirty, but it's 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 a nice rhinestone necklace. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Would be difficult since it's closed back, but maybe it's very pretty. This. 
Remember, I found this earring and I was wondering if I kept finding the same one thinking it was the other one. This is the other one. This is Mexico sterling earring. Love that, okay. This is a cool ring. The green stone and the leaf, I like that. It's a shame that a lot of the paint has worn off on some of the links. Look at the link. Oh my goodness, I love that. <gasps> so, okay. This doesn't have any paint on it, so that's fine. Oh, I love that. This is old, I think. Do you remember? I've had this for like ever, forever and ever. Yeah, some of the paint on those little dangles, if I could straighten it out. I don't want to bend them. Wow. I would love to have, I love the whole thing, but to to have just a chain like this necklace, love it. I don't know what year this is from. It keeps getting all bound up on her. I think it would be earlier than 50s. So pretty. All right, took a long time on that one. Sorry, guys. Just was mesmerized by that chain. <sighs> That's a neat earring. This is, is that a fez? Is that what the hat is called? That's cute. I like that. This one is interesting now. It's got that blackened look to it. And it's marked 925. And then I guess one, I don't know what that is, 1325? I'm thinking that's pretty old. It just needs a spring ring clasp on the other side, I'm assuming. Pretty neat though. That I must say is neat. This thing is so heavy. It's so th thick. I like the uh, design of it. It's supposed to be that wide? I don't think so. I'm surprised it doesn't have a name on it. It's made very well. Hmm. It's pretty. Lots of necklaces. Mother of Pearl, not the greatest pieces of Mother of Pearl. You know, some dull sides to it. Interesting clasp. <gasps> this! My heart beats for you, and it makes a noise. I guess that's the beating, the beating of the heart. This can go in the craft lot. That's pretty though. That is really pretty. That's glass. <gasps> A 
kitty. I'll put that to the side. As someone who asked me about cats. This is broken. It used to be two strands. Just seeing if it had anything on here like gold filled or sterling. Oh, tangles. This is so pretty. That looks really old. Check and see if this is sterling. Not seeing a marking on there. How about here? 925, and it looks like like a, a bull or something with horns, right? Not familiar with that, but that's pretty. Love that. Oh, okay. Got some initials. I think it's two separate things here, yeah. You got this. That says Monet. It's a pretty moon, eh? And you got not my initials, but SBS. Well, mine is S, yeah, but not the rest of it. Hmm. Wonder who they're made by. Some faux pearls with tiger's eye. Let's see what this says. Hobe. Ooh. I didn't know I had this. What is wrong with me? That's why I need to do this. I need to look at the stuff and do something with it. This. Oh man, I have to test these balls. See if they're silver. Look at this old clasp. I can't tell if that's the way it's supposed to be or like the other part like this is missing. It's so old. Okay, man. I'm getting that really old feeling. And I love when they put them on the chain. You think they're silver? Well, it wouldn't hurt to test them. Well, this is modern ish. I think I bought this separately. Yeah, fossil. It's really pretty. It makes some quality items. If I could find my light, my black light, I just feel like this would glow. It's very, it's got a weird um, blue hue to it. And glass. Well, it's all glass, but these are just glass beads. It doesn't really pick it up on the, the screen, but on camera, but these are kind of bluish. is heavy. Really? I would have thought it was going to say something. It's hefty. Those balls are hefty. Oh, yeah. I don't usually see a bracelet with this extra part here. 
say anything new. That's um, a sister clasp, right? I think these are genuine opals. They're not that great of quality, but you do see some fire in there. Pretty. Since I was looking through all kinds of jewelry, trying to make some more of craft and wearable lots, yeah, I just started throwing everything on my wrist and putting putting jewelry on. <laughs> you know how that is. It's funny because I found one of these rings before the whole part was missing and I was so intrigued. I was like, what could be in there? It was like a cornucopia. Yeah, it is. It's a cornucopia of rhinestones. I love that ring. And I love the all natural. I love this one. I don't know why this band and I love the the natural vintage stones. I think I'm the only one. Maybe. I don't know. Am I? I don't I don't know if anybody else likes those. See, this is a weird necklace. It, look how it's not a choker. Look how long it is. And it's got that. I guess you can make it as short as you want. Right? Oh, this is very Halloween-y. halloween -y. It's got a couple strands. It's got this orangey with the black. These are plastic. I think they're all plastic. But it's a nice chain. Very nice. Hmm. These feel like glass. Like a copperish brown, coppery brown. That's got somewhere. Oh, seed beads. Got some weight to them. Uh, let's see here. Avon. Looks like the finish is still good on that. A little simple Avon necklace. Now, I think, I don't know. The neck size on this is very small. Like, I don't know what it would be. But I'm guessing this is the torque. Somebody asked me about a torque before. So if you're watching, is this what you're talking about? Very stiff. It's not going to stretch. So if you're able to get that on your neck, then that's fantastic. Oh, another one of those earrings. Now this looks like the Allentown Hospital with a little ruby. So that must have been something they got from working there. Can't get that off, but what do you think this is? E G. Is it electroplated gold or something? Because if it was real gold, it would say it, right? That would be nice. But it's pretty. Really pretty. Oh, here's the other part of that necklace. It just came out, this part. So I guess it's fixable. Very bendable. This is really cute. How does it go? Somehow I gotta turn that around. There we go. No, still backwards. <laughs> okay, a little pendant. 
That's really pretty. I have a lot of watches. I gotta see if he can, jewelry guy, put the batteries in. I have a battery thing, but I don't wanna mess with it. So I'm gonna get that one done. And whatever else that doesn't have a battery or I should say isn't currently working. What's going on with this? This one too, I'll have to get done. That's I think Kate Spade, yeah. So I'm gonna get those done. It's gonna cost me cute little chains. Those are cute little vintage chains. And this one I have to get done too. This is a Michael Kors. It's actually a gift to me from a friend and they could not get the back off supposedly. I don't know how, there's screws in it. What? And they said, oh, we don't wanna mess it up. It was a jeweler's in the, in the mall. I just happened to be wearing it and it wasn't working. So I said, hey, can you, uh, no, it's, we can't get it off. And then I didn't, I didn't even look to see. All right, well, let's hope for the best on that one. Sorry about you. This doesn't have a clasp. It looks like natural stone, possibly. Is something missing from here? Possibly. Kind of brutalist up here. What do you think? I'm not 100% sure. Could be. I mean, if you wanted to hang something else here and make it look more complete, you know, that would be cool. Marbo. That's not a name I'm familiar with. But... Marble. I love this. That's, I believe, I'm going to say Victorian. I'm going to go out on a limb. This, oh, if this was bigger, because I cannot fit this on my wrist, even if it's expanded all the way. So pretty. It's gold filled. It has like a rose gold tone to it. Oh no. Oh, it's growing. Yeah, it's just so pretty. So vintage. If it fit me, I would wear it because it's so pretty. I love it so much. Okay, that. Tangle. This is that classic Monet B. Teapot. No name. I thought it would say Avon or something. And look. So cute. Can't wait till the morning to have coffee. Ah, <gasps> this. I love this. I can't sell it because I love it too much, but it's broken. So why am I keeping it? I don't know. Am I ever gonna get it fixed? I don't know. 
I should. What about if it was like a pendant? It's too cool. Can't. And this is cool. I've held on to this forever. I couldn't read the back, so that that's one thing that bugs me. If I can't figure it out or can't read it, I'm like, oh. I think it's 925 Mexico, but I cannot make out what the rest of it says. It's kind of a mystery. So I will continue to research and find my loop and try to figure that out. Oh, this is that other earring. Those are very dark. The bell which I believe was probably a necklace, right? Why you would wear the bell around your neck, I don't know. But it's art. That's Arthur Pepper art. Yeah, I'm not sure why somebody would do that. But it might have been in fashion at one point, right? This necklace... Is a choker. I do believe it's got all the stones in it. It's really pretty. Maybe it'll fit on my neck now that I'm slimmer. It's really pretty. Um, Nina Richie, or is it Ricky? symbol there. I feel like these kind of necklaces you could wear dress up or dress down. Or do you think that's too too fancy for t-shirt and a denim jacket or a little blazer? I don't know. My mind goes back and forth. Sometimes I'm thinking yeah, you can wear it like that. Casual. And now I'm thinking, no. Yeah. It's a little too dressed up. But I think I'm done for the night. <laughs> I still have a lot of stuff to go through and separate it into um, how I'm going to sell it because I can't keep it all. So if you're interested in any of these items, let me know. Email me vintage.discovery21 at gmail.com. Um, I'll put it in the description and um, I am putting some of the craft lots on eBay and that's been going great and I'm also going to be selling them off so that will um, be probably tomorrow I'll have more and if it's available off of eBay I'll be eBay whatever it is I'm gonna put it um, that message on my YouTube. So have a great day, have a great night. Um, I'm doing this Thursday night, so I'll uh, upload it on Friday and I'll have my coffee and I'll be happy. Er. All right guys, thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting and staying positive. Thanks, bye.